S-33 has successfully conducted a torpedo attack on a Japanese convoy. Three Mark 10 torpedoes were launched, and all three struck home, sending a 7,000-ton freighter straight to the bottom. Two enemy destroyers are now converging on our position. The sea state is rather poor, so that will help with us remaining hidden. So far, so good. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back aboard S-33 as we continue our second war patrol. We are currently sitting at 160 feet, and we are being hunted by two Japanese destroyers up above. They're popping off star shells and all that good stuff. I can hear this guy shooting occasionally. However, uh, they don't seem to have a really good idea of where we are. We are rather deep. We are below a thermal layer, and the sea state up above is horrible. And it is also nighttime, which also adds to uh, the difficulty of hunting a submarine. This contact right here at 310 degrees is an enemy destroyer, and I believe one of the ones over here is an enemy destroyer as well. This one's quite far away, and it doesn't seem like it's closing anymore. It's over uh, 3,000 yards out. Let's go to the hydrophone and check. This one could be a destroyer, but I don't believe it is. I think it's a freighter if I remember. Okay. And that guy's moving pretty quick. He's definitely still uh, searching. And yeah, this is a merchant. This merchant seems to be heading away from the rest of the group, which is very interesting. It's scattering. I mean, if it separates itself, uh, we may engage that blown freighter. Swing around, our engines. Okay, another merchant. Hmm. I'm guessing the other warship is over here as well. The sounds are just kind of blending in. Yep, for sure. Okay, so that is what is currently going on. We haven't been pinged or anything just yet. And honestly, I don't even believe uh, depth charges have been dropped. So we will see. I'm going to track this freighter. Because if it uh, separates itself from its escorts, then uh, that's just an easy kill. Oh, it does look like she is trying to regroup. Looks like she is kind of heading southwest at this point, which uh, kind of aligns to what I'm seeing from the main group. She's just a little behind. Well, regardless, I'm going to continue to attack this convoy. There's still two rather large freighters here. The one we sank was uh, 6,912 tons, so uh, pretty good, pretty good. Quite happy with those results. Okay, well, I will keep you all updated on the situation. It doesn't look like they're going to search for us for that long. Uh, we'll be able to surface here momentarily, and then in the next couple of hours anyway. I want to secure from battle stations just so my crew can get some rest. I don't want them getting exhausted. Okay, folks, the boat is now at periscope depth. We are going to raise our scope and take a look and see what's going on out there. Uh, they're all just heading back on their course by the looks of things. This one is definitely straggling. And we have a contact. Okay, through the scope, let's take a look. What was her bearing? Uh, pretty much straight in front of us, okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> okay, they're pretty close. Relatively easy to see. We have one destroyer here. That fairly large looking freighter, so the smaller one was the one straggling. Let's secure from silent running so we can be in, begin reloading these fish. And we're far enough away where I feel safe doing that. We're still a little too close to surface, I think. Um, it may be possible, but I'd rather avoid uh, a situation like that. Now, where's the straggler? Quite far, by the looks of things. Let's just scan. It's hard to see over the peaks of these waves. There she is. Okay. An interesting, uh, interesting situation. If I can torpedo this one lagging behind, that would be ideal. It looks like she's still yeah, heading southeast. Interesting. 
Anyway, we'll give it a few more minutes before surfacing the boat, I suppose. And um, I'm thinking I'm going to swing around and try to take out this one that is lagging behind. While the escorts are hopefully a little further away, we should be able to escape super easily. And then once that is completed, once we have sunk that ship, we will move around and uh, sink the last one. I see no reason to uh, let all these freighters get away. One thing I do also want to mention, uh, we completed our objectives. So we did engage and destroy enemy shipping. We have completed that now, but we are going to uh, tidy up the area a little bit here. By the time we're done with this, our torpedo supply may be pretty darn low. Um, unfortunately, I don't see a situation where we will be using the deck gun against these. I mean, these are not sub chasers we're dealing with. These are <laughs> rather uh, capable uh, destroyers. Yes, sir. Surface the boat. Prepare to surface. Prepare to surface. You ready on all four engines? Stand by to charge batteries. You can rise on the planes. It seems the enemy is a safe distance away. The order was given to surface the boat. Now, we have to work our way into a suitable attack position. Alright, so we are tracking the enemy convoy. It seems they have all formed up at this point. There's an enemy destroyer that is rather close to us. She is on our side of the convoy, unfortunately. There's the straggling freighter, and I think our target is going to be this big boy. Pretty hard to keep my binos on him, but that chonker will be the target we engage this time. Unfortunately, they are just spaced too far apart to really fire at both. Uh, we may try that, however, but I think we have plenty of nighttime to work with to make another attack. And this is all good practice. This uh, warship right here, however, is our main concern. She is just cruising along. It kind of looks like she is trying to overtake the convoy. Also, something uh, which complicates things is the fact they are zigzagging about. I mean, look at that. You can just see that clear as day. What's the distance between these two ships? Out of curiosity, yeah, around uh, 1,700 yards. Their spacing is uh, quite far. But they are also wiggling about, which is going to complicate things. I do want to get nice and close. We have manned battle stations, just in case shells start flying and we get hit. Also, I want to... I mean, my crew needs to hurry up and reload these torpedoes. They are... They're slacking a little bit. I guess uh, it is quite hard to reload torpedoes. And these sorts of sea conditions, moving at 12 knots, it is fluctuating dramatically in these seas. Uh, we get up to 14, you know, 14, and then go down to 10. Um, or even less, so. But we are slowly overtaking them. S-33 has successfully maneuvered around the convoy without being detected. We are diving the boat now and preparing for a submerged attack. Well, here we are. We are in a suitable attack position. We are just waiting for the freighters to come this way. We have this guy already identified, Kassen Maru, block. And let's uh, mark that in to our TDC. Perfect, 4,500 tons, not too shabby. She is quite a bit smaller than the other freighter. We already took down the largest one. So I'm probably just going to fire two fish. Um, hopefully there's no malfunctions, but thankfully with the Mark 10 torpedoes, we've been doing rather well. Um, very few duds. Let's see, warships a little close, and once again, they are all still zigzagging, so that is going to complicate things just a little bit. 1,900 yards away from their track, which is no longer really accurate because of their uh, zigzagging maneuvers. Uh, is the warship even zigzagging though? No, it looks like she is holding a steady course, which certainly is interesting. I did time them back here. With their zigzagging, they're going around six knots. I do want to get nice and close though, just to ensure we actually hit a zigzagging target. 
check on our destroyer friend. How are you? Looking good. She's just sailing along. I'm impressed how long they've been zigzagging. That's awesome, actually. That they are still zigzagging. Down scope. It is now time. The enemy destroyer is directly in front of us. Let's not stick up our scope all the way. We definitely want to avoid that being spotted because she is pretty damn close. You can see her smoke there. Would be interesting to take one of them out, but uh, we have much more um, tempting targets here. Kind of make parts of her out occasionally these waves seem to these waves are awful but they do they are uh, they are an advantage for us for sure judging how hard it was for these assurers to pick us up last time I'm pretty confident we're going to be able to get away without being damaged I may even stick around and see if I can uh, fire off some shots at the other freighter during this attack we'll see though all right, let's lock onto our friend and begin targeting her. Make sure, yep, it's still plugged in. We need to establish a range, which is going to be very tricky in these seas. Let's see, mark, there we go. 1,284 yards out, turn on the position keeper there. We got her going six knots, we'll plug that in. There we go, that should start ticking, perfect. Angle on bow, we'll go with 40 degrees starboard mark. Okay. And now we wait. We do want to double check that range, of course. And I'll see what my crew is saying about her speed. And the angle on bow is going to... It's going to wiggle around a bit because of her maneuvers. Moving two knots, rigged for silent running. All of that just fantastic stuff. Not too worried about being detected once again. And use a little bit of time compression here. Give it a couple of minutes. Currently 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay. One more range reading. Mark. Okay, we got her at 1,100 yards. All right, boys. What do you think she's going? Four knots. I'm going to still roll with six. I hope I'm not wrong. Because I, I did it twice. I got six knots here and then six knots up here. That seems to be the average with all of her maneuvers. Okay, I'm going with six. Trust my gut. Um, all right, torpedo settings. We'll fire tubes one and two. Uh, tube one, the draft of this ship is 24 feet. We'll set it to 14 feet for both fish. About that. 14 feet speed low. Okay, all that good stuff, lock. All right, angle on bow has definitely changed. 80 degrees starboard mark. Send that to the TEC again. Make sure this is plugged into the TEC. Open tubes one and two. Nice and close. I feel, I'm feeling okay. Thousand yards. All right, let's give it a few more minutes. She is turning. The angle on bow is 90 right now, really, almost. Okay, angle on bow, just shy of 90. Mark tube one, fire. All right, tube two, offset angle to the left, one degree, fire. All right, two fish away. Run times 52 seconds. Down scope.
Holy cow. Talk about a fireworks display. That was uh, certainly something. <laughs> oh my goodness. And there she goes. She is slipping beneath the waves there. Wow. That was, that was nuts. I was not expecting those sorts of results. One probably would have done it, but I'm glad I followed up with a second. Looks like six knots was a pretty good, uh, good idea. And there she goes beneath the waves. That was freaking fast. All right, there's number two. Let's see if we can set up a shot on uh, target number two here. We'll see what her maneuvers are. Let's try to identify it as well. We need to keep track of our warship friends, which are definitely on high alert after that. And I'm pretty sure that woke everything, <laughs> everyone up. Um, probably minimal survivors after that sort of explosion as well. Okay, bring up our merchant ship single stacker in the rear. Let's flip back just to see if I missed it. Small oiler, 1,549 tons. She is, yeah, definitely small. Definitely her. Identify. We're going to rock six knots again. I guess she may change speed after that. It is possible. We'll see. She's getting close. And it looks like this destroyer, like, is it going to swing around? Okay, let's uh, reverse just a wee bit. All right, we're good. We're going to torpedo this thing. The destroyers seem to be... I don't know what the hell's wrong with them. Guess they don't understand what's happening. It's like, oh, it's just a mine. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's put this here. Mark. Oh, I, I adjusted that. She is not 300 yards away. I accidentally goofed. There we go. 700 yards away. Not bad. I'm... Yeah, we'll shoot two. We'll shoot two. I want to go back on what I said earlier. I think two is safe. Um, that way we can finish this thing off and haul ass out of dodge. Okay, speed... Go with six knots. We'll do an offset to the right this time, just in case she is sped up. And we can close that. Okay, looking good. We still have a little ways to go. Man, the water is still burning. All the oil. Anything else? No, I am in... Lack of response is astonishing. Oh well. My little friend. Their draft 15 feet. Yikes. That's going to be a little spicy given the sea state. We'll set to nine knots for our impact pistol, or nine feet, excuse me, for my impact pistols. Uh, talking is difficult today, it would seem. Let's keep on closing. All right. Looking good. She is turning back into us, which is. Less than ideal, but we'll go through with this. Where is she? There you are. Lock on target. Open tubes. Three and four. Thank you. Looking good. Get speed one more time. Or range. Oh my gosh. What? What is wrong with me? Okay. <laughs> um... When the, when the waves stop washing over my scope, oh, we'll do it. Thank you, nature. Thank you, Mother Nature. I appreciate that. Bam. Oh, there's a lot of little dudes just hanging out over there. All right. What's her range? 400 yards. Okay, we need to fire. We need to fire. Angle on bow. We'll rock this, I think. Yeah, because she is turning drastically into us. Mark speed six knots. Okay, tube three, fire. Tube four. Offset to the right. Fire. Alright, both torpedoes are away. Run time's like non existent. Hopefully, these aren't duds. Holy shit. Oh my gosh.
Okay, well, after that, we need to drop down quickly. Right full rudder. We're only 400 yards away from this target, and we want to avoid colliding with it. But that, I mean, one did it. Two just absolutely broke her back. Look at that. Jeez. Can't get a good look at it due to the sea state, but we all know exactly what happened aboard that ship. Okay. Now it's time to escape. The enemy seems to be completely inept at hunting us. We were able to lurk away with ease. We were not pinged once, and not a single depth charge was dropped. The boat is now down to four torpedoes. With how bountiful these waters have been thus far, I don't expect we will be here for long. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.